Let's do it. Test, 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 test. Let's do a little scatter I'm gonna say absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna rant and just make a melody. All right, let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, though. Pepper friends, I'm on the sun, the sun, I wanna K, okay. Bleeding on my cuss, I wanna sun, I send a way, oh, wait. My mama sent a one, that's one out with the 808. Wish she got a set, okay, nobody told me like me. Bleeding on pizza, and it goes to all night, they don't like me. So, this is where we end up. But, uh, let me show you how we got here. Okay, so right now, what we're gonna do is make some music. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Cradle Audio State Machine. Within State Machine, there are three different plugins in the bundle. One is low end, which is a bass generator. Then the second one we have is slow drip, which is more of textures and things of that nature. And then the last one we have is faded keys. I'm gonna use strictly just these three plugins for my melodic stuff and see what happens. Let's walk around the plugin. I wanna see how easy it is to use. My first time using it genuinely, I felt like this was the best way to kind of like see if, um, you know, if, if there was a big learning curve to it and how easy it was to use, and then you can make your own conclusion afterwards. Now, I will mention Cradle Audio was so generous to sponsor this video uh, and ask me just to try it out. And if you're seeing this video, then I'm going to guess I liked it a lot and decided um, uh, uh, to move forward and show you guys for what it is. So let's just make some music. Let's have some fun. Let's see what happens. So I already loaded all three of them up. So I'm going to go with Faded Keys. And this is cool. And I like their GUI. I've always liked their GUIs for the most part. It's, it's for me, I feel like it's not such a, it doesn't look so daunting for people that are not too savvy with synthesis and things of that nature. But still, it's nonetheless, it's super easy to understand. I see scale, chord, arpeggiator, all the things that I would go for. Anyway, let's just make a beat. Hey. 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 Cool, got a little loop going. Now let me see something. Let me go into the actual like synthesis of it and let me see if I can like find one, maybe a better sound, but also let me see if I can manipulate it a little bit. One second. Oh, so I see. So these are already on and basically I could choose if how, how much of it I want. So Bit Crusher's on, Phaser's on. That's hard. Dope, I could transpose it right in the plugin. Okay, cool. That's actually cool. Instead of me just doing it in my DAW, cool. Simple. All right. So right there feels right where it's a little bit more distant feels, feels like a distant feel, feels a little bit more like less attacky. And then Movie Grand has more of the key sound. So, but I wanted to feel a little bit more like flowy and stuff like that. So I'm gonna stick with this. So we kind of created our own sound within this. Cool, that was simple. And that was the first patch. I didn't even move from the first patch. So, all right, cool. All right, let's crack open low end. Let's see what we got going. Let's see if we can get a little bass going right quick. Same setup. Okay, cool. I totally understand it. I know what's going on already. I feel like such a lame, the first sound. I like the first sound. <laughs> Whatever, I like it. I gotta click around a little bit. So let me click around a little bit. Let me see if there's a different bass sound that comes out of it by just playing around with some of the presets. Hold on. That's it. All right, let me see if I can mess with it a little bit too. Oh, ba oh the compressor? Oh, so they got a built-in compressor with it too. Mid driver? Oh, that's dope to have a mid-range driver. Hold on, let me hear it sound like. You know why I like this that a lot? 
to have a mid driver on it. Um, and yeah, if you've seen other plugins with it, cool, no problem. I'm just saying that, that was easy to use and I see the mid driver, but I like that because now in modern day times, we want to hear that 808 or that bass stuff a little bit higher in the register because then we can hear it on smaller speakers, like cell phones and stuff like that. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, that's dope that I could add a little bit of a mid driver. Usually I would have to add like maybe some parallel stuff to it to kind of get that bass to be more heard, especially on subbier basses. But the fact that I could add a mid driver is, is dope. That was clever. Oh, there's a limiter on this too. So they have a built-in limiter. So there's a built-in limiter on it. And I think that it will help control peaks. That's dope. And it probably makes the sound feel a little stronger and girthier too, especially with a bass. I see right here, we got the synth section, which is cool. Source, filter, amps, all those kind of things. Then I see down here, we got the MIDI effects, which I'll look into in a second. But this is basically looks like the back end of it with the bit crusher and stuff, but it's all here too. So, oh, so this is allowing me to go deeper into the processing with the bit. Oh, I see what you did. So at right here, here's the reverb that I can put on just clicking here. But if I want to go deeper into it and tweak things, then I can go right here to the reverb and affect it. And they have three, four different type of reverbs of tone. That's dope. That's dope. And that's simple too. I appreciate that being so simple. Okay, let's make some drums. Let's speed it up a little. Let's go to faded keys again. And I want to find like a little bit of a lead. Like, let's make another lead. Like, do, 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 do. Let's play with a little lead right quick. Hold on. All right, we made a completely different sound from that one sound within the plugin. I didn't use none of my effects, ew. I just used their effects. Eh, what's happening? All right, now what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to go to the low end side. Again, before we go to slow drift and mess with it, let me go to low end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add another layer of that same 808 to see if I can get a subier 808 to layer it with. Let me just see. Let's hit this sub section. Oh. All right, yo, I would have never made an eight oh eight like that, like. I would have never made an 808 like that. I actually took off the other one. I was like, yo, I kind of like how that one going. I put the arpeggiator on that 808 in the whole nine, and it just felt really cool. Let's keep going. Let's go to slow drift. Let's see what slow drift is hitting for. Let's see if we could create like some type of pads or some type of something underneath. Let me just play around with this a little bit. I'll be like, yo, hold on. I'll be like, Everybody wants something on the sun to say, well, down the tongues, down the tongues, it's on my say, yeah. Down the pond, down the counter, and I'm say, yeah. And I'm gonna say, when she told him, I got now something done on the Kato. Some, 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 Yo! Hold on, let me save this. I'm sorry. I know we're doing a different beat, but let me, hold on, I'm gonna save that for later. I like the sound of these pads, like these pads, cause sometimes I feel like some, either a pad, my is, uh, issue I have with a pad is either they're too soft or they're too aggressive and you're trying to find that median, but I'm like, like I'm finding a nice balance of pads in here. I like these pads a lot. Hold on.
I like the flanger. The flanger added a little bit of texture to it and just added a little bit of like a like a faziness that I liked. Uh, hold on. Transpose it to 12 semitones, which is another octave up. Yo, that's hard. I like that. Yo, okay, cool. All right, let me structure this out and maybe I'll lay a little scat down. Let me just structure this out a little bit. One sec. Let's do it. Test, 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 test. Let's do a little scatamatat. I'm gonna say absolutely nothing. I'm just gonna rant and just make a melody. All right, let's get it. Yeah, 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 okay though. Pepper friends, I'm on a sun, a sun, I wanna K, okay. Bleeding on my cuss, I wanna sun, I send her away, away. When my mama sent her one, I send her with the 808. Wish she got a set, okay, nobody told me like me. Bleeding on PJ Nichols, they're all not that don't like me. I can get the best and know the key don't wanna kite me. Just don't wanna do that when I send her on a hide me. Bleeding on my knees, I when I be knocking, I slow down. Bleeding on hold out, did it by my feet, then how I load out. But it gave my low down. First thing that was, I wanna paste it. First up, waste it, hold Okay, I didn't even check the levels on my mic or nothing. I just went for it. Yeah. Okay, let's switch back to what you call it. Okay, so if you're seeing this video, chances are we liked it. And I did, I really did like the plugins. Obviously, you know, uh, Cradle did sponsor this video and I want you to create your own decision uh, from actually seeing me use it and stuff like that. But I think you get a really good idea of what the plugins are. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, I have a, a likeness for all of them. You know, I've been looking for stuff that was heavy pads and um, and low. And I'm sorry, I'm just a little hype off of just doing a song and stuff like that. But none of that less, I really do like the plugins. I'm actually really impressed. I love the GUI. It's easy to use. Um, and yeah, it kind of opened my palette up to like a different process with the plugins. I'm definitely, definitely going to bring these into my... Um, my workflow, but make your own decision. I'll leave a link in the description for it. Thank you so much, Cradle Audio, for sponsoring this video. I had a lot of fun doing that. I love when I get the chance just to just create and just have fun. And I feel like that was the best way to show you guys the plugins was just let me just use it like you would. You would crack it open and you would just do the same exact things that I was doing if you're just first running around in it. But I navigated pretty well. That was smooth. And that was a different kind of beat. I usually don't make that kind of music, uh, but it brought something out of me because it seems like all the, the state machine just has this character and this sound to it um, that I just really, really like. I got a feeling, I only got past the fifth preset. I just realized I never even really got past the fifth preset in it, but um, I'm excited to keep exploring this. Uh, let me know how you felt about it. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Sorry, I'm a little rattled. I just, you know, was making music. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and uh, if you want to see more of this plugin just displayed, and obviously I'm going to keep playing with it over time, let me know in the uh, in the uh, in the comment section below. I really hope you guys like that. Please comment, like, and subscribe, like I said before. And um, until next time, y'all.